Welcome to episode two of the High on Outside Sports Podcast. Today we'll be discussing the World Series, the fight between Draymond Green and Bradley Beal, and obviously fantasy football, where I could dominate Moran in verbal battles. Thank you to our sponsor, Apple Sports Picks, the best sports handicap website in New England. Here we go. Wait, are we doing it again? Stay high, outside. Stay high, outside. Stay high, outside. I'm the guru. Ooh. I'm the guru. Ooh. Mark be making fubu picks. It's a lock of the week. Tro over here picking locks. That boy is on his feet. Well, hello. Go ahead. <laughs> well, well, hello. Go. Brand. What are we going? going World Series? Yeah. Talking World Series talk. All right. So we have, um, let's see. Tonight, game four, Astros up 2 1. Uh, my prediction's wrong right off the bat. I did say Dodgers in five. Obviously. I said Dodgers in five. Obviously. Which was, yeah, I'm sorry about. There? Obviously. Now, I'm still going to stick with Dodgers win and all. It's probably going to go to a game seven win at home. Um, what you throw, do you think? Your throat's a little dry over there. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> I need a sip of this. Coffee. I don't know. Personally, I'm starting to no, like Houston. After like taking that win in LA, like that was huge. Like to get in that first series, a lot of yeah, people thought okay, LA would go well, two and out. Why, why are you throwing? Carry a why are you throwing Rich Hill game two? Even though he did do well, they took him out early. Like, but why? Why are you not going to Darvish in game two? That's a good point. It makes no sense to me. Like when I, when I saw really. the Rich Hill Verlander matchup, I said, okay, let's lock right there for the Astros. I like That's Darvish true. in the show. Like Darvish. I like Darvish in the show. A no, lot. but listen, but tonight. So I'm going Darvish. <laughs> Dude, you love the show. Tonight, yeah, Alex Wood. I'm a huge Alex Wood guy. Yeah, you love Alex Wood. I'm a love huge Wood. Alex Wood guy. Yeah, like you his, love playoff, Wood. his playoff numbers are absolute trash. He's been trash in the playoffs. But I really, besides Morton's last going, I don't really think that Morton's been that good in the playoffs. I like Houston either. again tonight. I don't. I, do. I, like I Houston don't. Houston, I like Houston at home. Houston, Houston at home like is a force. We'll, we'll see, Moran. We'll see. Houston, we'll see if you're right. I here. think Alex Wood comes out and he deals tonight. There's Brady's a reason. There's a reason why he gets 0 o- for 4 on baseball yeah, so far. Terrible. What do you mean? No, 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 no. Moran was right. Moran was right. I was wrong about the over under. I was wrong about the over under, but I was right about the prediction. Mark was wrong. He got the fucking prediction of the over under right. Congrats. That's the, the only thing Mark. That's the only right thing you've, you've you've brought to this podcast all year was with, your over under call. Over under. That's well, the only thing you brought. Well, 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 while we're on it, it while we're on it, well, uh, here, on. I'll give you. I'll start with Moran's stupid line of the week. Go ahead. What does this have to do with anything sports related? We were eating guacamole. Our, uh, yeah. yeah, I think it was chips and guacamole. Yeah. And I said, "Wow, avocado is a fruit, not a vegetable." Because I googled it, mm-hmm. and Moran responds with, "What's guacamole then?" <laughs> that's a good one, Mark. That's a good uh-huh. one. Now, can we get back on the that? World Series? You really yeah. said that? I, yeah, I did. I did. I, did. I never had guacamole. <laughs> this is my first what? time eating guacamole. I was like, guacamole, Same actually. The G is supposed to be silent on right. the pronunciation of it. Get the, dude, stop fucking talking about Next guacamole. Topic. Done with this. Okay? Do the Dodgers or the Astros win? Who do you think, Mark? Because Troy Astros. has the Astros. I have the Dodgers. You have the Astros? Astros. In the series? In the, I'm ever gonna agree in the series. You. In the you series. I'm ever going to agree with what you said. No, really. What do you think, though, sports wise? Astros. What do you mean? All right, I like that. Dude, I agree. Sports. We'll see. Like, no way. No way. <laughs> next topic. Next topic. Next topic. Was that? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's was just... that a fight last night, uh, or was it an aggressive bear hug? Because I saw no hands thrown. If no hands are thrown, that is no fight. It is just a. It is an aggressive it's hug. It's a glorified hug. That got take down on the ground. You. It's not a fight. That is not a fight. I don't, I don't care know. what you say. Tell me it's a fight. Look like Draymond just absolutely dropped him. Just not a fan of Draymond. Bodied him. No one. None of us like Draymond. Ground. None of us like Draymond. Yeah, he reminds me of you. Yeah. Annoying, <laughs> annoying asshole. No, uh, he's... In, in a game with Street Fighter, who do you got, though? You got Draymond <laughs> or Bradley Beal? Bradley Beal, I think Draymond's a soft bitch. Bradley Beal on the sticks? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, I got Bradley Draymond. Bradley Beal snuck up behind Draymond, him. Draymond, I do got Draymond. Dude, really? Dude, I think Draymond's great, like, basketball-wise. What does it have to do a Street Fighter, though? But I'm talking about... Is he going to be able to We're win? Talking, no, yeah, what? Yeah, I'm I just talking do. basketball. Okay, well, not, I kind of am. I think he is. I think he's a phenomenal basketball player. Love for him to be a Nick, but... You're a Knicks fan? Yeah, but I don't really follow too much. So who do you got winning? Huh? Knicks, big win against the no, Nets. No, no, no. I'm talking, I'm talking to the fight. Bradley Beal, Draymond Green. I'm taking Draymond. Do you got any facts behind that? Or you just gotta yeah. Well, oh, oh, yeah. There one time he got in a fight and he did really well. <laughs> no, well how the fuck do I know a Draymond Green fight fact? Okay, All I know is he's a lot more of a aggressive like, player than Bradley uh, Beal. Like his height? 
His strength, his arm, his reach. Is that what you have? For Dude, him? he's he's a bigger body and he's a lot more physical. He gets under people. He gets under. He gets about. under people's skins. That's what he does. I'm he's good at doing it. He knows. Yeah, those people always get body. He'll Big on there. size in that fight. He just has the size on him. That's the only advantage I can really see right now. I got Beal. All right. We'll never really oh, wait, no, out, wait, but... Mark. What's your fa- what? What's why, shit, do what's you your have, why do you have Beal? What's what's your reason? <laughs> <laughs> What were your even? What was your reasons? I don't even remember what your reasons <laughs> were. <laughs> Yo, I that ass just said <laughs> he's a bigger guy. He's more physical. He's known to get under people's skin. Yeah, yeah, he's, that's 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 the point I wanted to touch on. <laughs> getting under people's skin, like those guys never win the fight. So it's, oh, it's, oh, you think you think Grandma's never, all talk? Yeah, he's all talk. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, good. That's, a good that's not a fucking point. Put a body a bag. Bag. No, it's Put not. No, it's not. I'm leaving more towards Mark. No, it's not. Yeah. So what does that yeah. mean for Bradley Beal? Bradley Beal winning that so, fight. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are shot. <laughs> Fuck you. Next Love topic. It. That mean no, no, no. That did not bring anything to the table. <laughs> that brought it. nothing oh. there. Love it. You guys are <laughs> shot. You're all fucking shot. <laughs> all right. Next topic. Fantasy. Dive in. Dive in hard. Football. Fantasy. Football. Everything about it, baby. Great times. All Let's right. go. Lock of the week. Let's go. We're diving right into this? Yeah, okay. Right into it. Okay, so I think they're bound. Wait, let's recap last week and see who was right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I'll recap it last Mark, week. Starting off, the, starting off the year, week seven, terrible betting. Not even close to that cover. I wasn't even thinking spreads last week. Like, now, I know, now I know. Now I know. We brought up spreads. We brought up spreads. Brought up spreads. Right. Just saying, like, and they were going to All right, move on, move on. I knew the Titans were going to win. Moran, one and zero, good call on the there Eagles. Go, baby. Me, of course, Fly was flying. great call on the Seahawks covering against the Giants, and I also called the under in that game, which did come true. So I'll take that as two and zero. I was right. <laughs> I game. was right about the baseball game no. last week. You were right about Melvin. <laughs> we're talking about football Wait, right now. Who'd you have Melvin Gordon to? Yeah, it was the he had a day. Sleepers. He had a day. All right, going to your lock, Moran. My lock. Yeah. If it's Bound to have a good game. If they don't have a fucking good game, then I'm cutting them. I hate them. I hate them. The Falcons minus six and a half Speed at the Jets. Six, I think it was six. Huh? Six. Is this, I'm okay. You're right. It's six. Fact. It's six. The I think they're they're plot. bound. Yeah. They're bound to just fucking go off and have one game. You can't lose to the what was it? I think it was the Bills. Yeah. Dolphins and Pats. Yeah. Three straight. No way they're gonna lose to the fucking Bills and Dolphins, especially the the Dolphins. Which by the way, that game the other night was pathetic. The Dolphins oh, Ravens yeah. game. Dolphins gonna be worse. Oh my goodness. They're if you like started, very if bad you, at, if like, you started the Ravens defense, good for you. <laughs> but yeah, I did. I'm, I did, but I also played course. against him in one league. Yeah, so I was going. Atlanta, I, I, I have Atlanta somehow. minus six and a half, and then if, I always get fucked somehow. If that falls, because it was between Atlanta and then it, it was between Atlanta and then the Bears. The Bears are plus nine and a half. The Bears at the Saints. The Bears, the Bears. play close games. I like the Bears. The Bears. I do like the Bears. <laughs> okay, Trubisky. Shaky oh, enough, enough, okay? enough with <laughs> Trubisky again. Mark hates Trubisky. Oh, my God. I fuck with Trubisky. He's below average. He's below average. You give care. him some good receivers, he's straight. Okay, who's his best receiver? Kendall Wright? Pathetic. Yeah, I like yeah, 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 I'd, I'd, say Kendall, nah, I'd say Tariq Cohen, Nine. honestly. He's a back, but, like, he's his most targeted uh, receiver, basically. Yeah, because his he best really receiver is Kendall Wright. That's the reason right, why yeah. they were fucking looking. <laughs> all right, all right. You throw they that man. Tariq Cohen right is basically a receiver, too, though. They put him in the slot. Dude, I don't want to hear Tariq Cohen anymore. I'm I don't know. I don't know. It might, fantasy might say he's a running back, but he's both. Yeah, okay. All right, well, my Love lock him. is Love I got to go Cohen. Carolina. No offense to Reed Cohen. He's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> he said one nah, good nah, fantasy week. They got to get him in the offense. Dude, he, he touched <laughs> he the ball three times last game. He had like 75 yards. Nah, go for it. He's go not for it. Go for he it. Did. All right, I'm going Carolina good stat, plus one and a half. I think you're just going to win that game outright. And just in a pick em, getting that extra point even helps. Who are they playing? I just think they're going to beat Tampa the Bay. The Bucs. Their defense, defense is too the good. Bucks. Bucks has a terrible Bucks. defense. Pathetic. You know, I also don't mind the under in that game. I think it's going to be low, lower scoring than I have OJ Howard shootout. going in that, that game. A I think it's going to be lower than that. I think it's at, four, think it's at 46 right now. That is a but, shootout uh, game. I don't know what you're talking about, the under. All right, you'll see. We'll see, Moran. Um, a lot of the hype shootout games are the ones that end up in the under. What about – what do you think, who do you think does better in that game, Winston or uh, fucking Cam? Cam. 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 Easy. Pass Cam? Yeah. Tampa Bay's defense is Swiss cheese. So many holes. Mm-hmm. I like Cam a lot. Cam, that was gonna when we were Pass talking about like, when we were gonna talk about underdogs, like who's gonna have like a big and week. Winston I was, was coming off Cam, an injury, really right? He's not shoulder was yeah, it? Yeah, sleeper. throwing shoulder a couple weeks ago. All right, Mark, what do you got? What's your lock this week? My lock of the week. No, Mark, remember locks involve spreads. Yeah, shut yes. up. So I <laughs> fucking know. Um, we're going 
Vikings against the Browns, nine and a half. Yep. Yeah. Taking that. Easy. Vikings I think London, Case Keenum. I hate the Browns. Diggs is coming back this week. Thielen and McKinnon, huge day for the Vikings offense, I think. And uh, 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 Miles Garrett I out, I think, as of now. I don't, I don't like Concussion. that one. Concussion protocol. Any, any feedback on that? We're gonna need Brett? some Brett to check on that. But what is it? Uh, Miles Garrett. He. Uh, I don't think he's playing. Huge holes for McKinney's. Oh my God. So Brett's checking that. Quick opinion on that game. I, th- I think that might be the one game Cleveland wins this year somehow. Anything goes in London. The nine thirty game. I, I think they. Dude, I think they might even win that game. Never mind cover. Case Keenum. Does Moran have any opinion, or he just doesn't even know what he's doing over there? Moran just Mark. keeps whispering Case Keenum. Yeah, he's whispering. I'm like thinking, why would you ever fucking Case pick Keenum under here? <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't make Case that Keenum. pick. Yeah, nine that and that a half is a lot Case to cover Keenum. too. Like, it's not like it's just like a dominant team. So you guys disagree with me completely? Yeah, disagree again. Dude, right. you could be looking at zero and two, betting against the same team. Like, it's not fair that I'm zero and one because I like wasn't even considering That's, the spread. If you did line. consider, it, yeah, they're gonna crush him. It says uh, Miles Garrett is still a major question mark heading into Sunday's game. Even more so. I'm gonna be in major case question mark. Face but there's really not much about him right now. Yeah, dude, I just yeah. hope. Listen, yeah. I got a big day. Big off my fantasy. Lightning's off. Like, huge. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna run it. Start the game. Dude. I think he's McKinnon gonna the game. McKinnon might score a touchdown in the first quarter. <laughs> he's gonna have a good week. You hear me? You hear me? Hear this bold prediction? What? McKinnon touchdown first quarter. Vikings are gonna start off hot. That game's at 9.30 know. tomorrow? Very possible. The game's yeah, at 9.30, like a, what a that game's at 9:30 yeah, tomorrow morning? London game. That's unreal. Love at 9.30. Love, 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 love last week. I don't fucking... Really. Dude, that's like the craziest thing that you don't like that. I, I wake up late How do you Sunday even like mornings. Huh? Either way, you're going to wake up around like 11, and you're going to have two hours to wait before football's on. You don't, you never know what to do in that time. Guess you do. You, you sit down with your buds, and you say, all right, who are we picking this week for our well, parlay? I'm not hanging out with you. Who we part like? Just not even like. Smelling like terrible Moran morning breath. Awful, <laughs> awful. And then he drinks a coffee without brushing his teeth. <laughs> same car with him. What? Disgusting. Dude, you're fucking gross. <laughs> you're gross now. You look gross now. And that's why I'm the smartest podcaster. <laughs> Dude, you suck. <laughs> yeah, the fucking underdog. That one guy that's going to go off. I was going to say Cam, but I can't pick Cam. You're a sleeper? You're yeah. underdog. What do you got for your sleeper? You said you had it. Moran's illiterate. Um. I it's primed for a big. Week. Oh, go fuck yourself! <laughs> Pick them up off waivers against my team. You're yeah, the super asshole. drop. Good for the PPR league. Man, no, Robert got... Turvin. Frank Gore is only, can only do so much. I about forty eight years. <laughs> Good joke, dude. No, I'm really trying to think. I really want to go Wendell Smallwood. I want to. I'm gonna just dump the ball off to little Garrett or no. Zach Ertz. Garrett gonna, hasn't scored. Zach Ertz in... gonna have six touchdowns. Garrett this couldn't week. catch a cold. Small check? Small Ertz could can eat that defense check? up. But then again, Blunt can Garrett go for like downs. 140 and three touchdowns. I don't want to pick Blunt. I don't want to fucking pick an Eagle. I just don't. I want to stay away from the Eagles for now. Oh, you love the Eagles. Yeah, I knew he hasn't scored. I like him this week. Yeah, you I like do. like him a lot. Yeah. Against San Fran's the worst. Really San Fran's the worst. breakout week. San Fran's the worst against the, uh, against the run in the NFL. This week. Yeah. Guy should have won me a fucking fantasy matchup. 40 points. Pathetic. I'm trying hey, to. Either think, you got a sleeper man. yet or what? It's, it's really hard for me to pick a sleeper. Well. Must start is, I'm, all right. Well, first I'm gonna give you Hawks. It's a ridiculous statement to say don't start him, but I don't think I don't think it's worth Hill against Denver if you have him on your team. Also a very tough matchup. Those are my two guys you all might right. want to stay away from. Hawkins and I raise you a Fuller. Well, he's not I, a sleeper, so why? <laughs> no, but I'm saying I'm- you'd see Fuller doing well. Yeah, he's pl- he's only played two games and the guy's a fucking point machine. And we have our college football specialist Dylan. On the phone. Dylan, can you hear us? Yo. Dylan, can we get down the mic? Good. Yeah, good. He's good? We uh, we got some... F- <laughs> Dwight Howard, baby. Let's go. All right, Mark, what questions you got, Dylan? Oh, d- actually, you want to... I got to say, like, uh, Penn, Penn, first off, Penn State today, being an under... Possibly the worst quarterback that Urban Meyer has ever Yeah, had. I, I think Ohio State has a better defense. Dude, isn't so. he, he's the youngest captain Ohio State's ever had. Yeah, because he he was a uh, captain and he was like a... It was, between, it was between him and... I think he's going to have a big game. This is going to be a Cardell 12. <laughs> Cardell. What's Cardell doing now? He's fucking yeah, warming he? up the balls for... Uh, Tyrod Taylor. No, yeah, he's not Tyra. on the Bills anymore, is he? No, he's on, he's no, on the he's fucking... On the I think he's, he's on the, uh, the Chargers. Chargers, yeah. Oh. River never gets through. <laughs> is he really on the Chargers? That's awesome. Good for him. Cardell was a beast. His tweets were hilarious. Yeah. yeah. 12 gauge. <laughs> Let's talk about how BC football is uh, back. BC football is back. How did I just get this football in my hands? It's perfect. 
I need it right now. I'm what was ready. it? They held him to, what, 215 yards total? It was like 35 um, 3 at some point. I turned it off. So, BC football won 35 to 3. Yeah. The two quarterbacks combined for 150 yards, 156 yards total. Wow. Wow. The running back for BC had 149 yards on 30, 39 attempts as a touchdown. The Florida State, one of their receivers had 102 yards. And that was the. Uh, Murray, I think his name is. And that is the only person that caught a pass for Florida State. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, Florida State Florida State went down after week one. Until the quarterback broke his leg or whatever. Yeah, they, 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 they had a big win recently, though. Yeah, but they have they still have a top recruiting class every year. You yeah. don't think that... It's all a good player. They should yeah. have the quarterback Bill, who just fill in. What do you... Who do you think... should be like a fill-in quarterback on any good team. Who do you have in your, uh, who do you have in your top four? For football? College. Yeah. Who do you think is going to be in the playoffs? Who's, who's making the playoffs? I mean, I don't. I'm not out of the ordinary here. It's like I got Alabama, um, Penn State, TCU, and uh, Georgia. So you have, t- you have TCU. I like Georgia. I love Chubb. I love Chubb. I said it. Uh, I, I think Ohio State squeaks in by winning out. Probably not going to happen. Listen, I'm a big Chubb guy. Do so. You have TCU. Do you have them destroying Iowa State today? Um. Or is it a no, close game? It's a close game, though? Yeah, I say they went by, like, seven or so. Maybe ten. I don't that's, a, that's a great that, pass. The who, spread, who I, th- I believe the spread's seven and a half. What do you think about Washington State at Arizona? A lot of people are thinking Arizona. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. That quarterback's pretty good. He's very good at scrambling and everything. But I still like, you said Washington, right? Yeah, Washington, Washington State. State. Ranked okay. 15. Um, uh, Washington State's still pretty good. I yeah, got I like them winning that. that. I'm not buying um, into that Arizona hype. What, and what? OU, OU football, Ohio University Bobcats, number three offense in the country. What? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I retweeted Who it. Who are they playing, Kent uh, State? <laughs> Bowling Greens? <laughs> yeah, we beat Kent State fucking 49-3 to last week, you whore. Yeah. All right, I'll make sure to take the over in this week's uh, Ohio game. All right, thank yeah, you, thanks for calling in, Dylan. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> thank you for calling in, Dylan. We'll see you soon, buddy. All right, peace, guys. See ya. Great having you. Great guy, great guy. Clap it yeah. up for Dylan. Dylan. Good call from Dylan. Good interview. Good Big first Dylan call. Big Dylan fan. Big fan of Dylan. Dylan, one of our college football specialists. Good to hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows his college football. It's huge. All right. All righty. Let's, let's get back to fantasy football. I'm tough. Well, let's hear – all right, let's hear – a team, your team, a quarterback, a running back, a receiver, a tight end, and a flex from each of you. Wait, like one t- player in each position from each of you. I'll go first for quarterback. We'll start. We'll yeah. go around. Yeah, we all pick quarterback. All right, Philip Rivers, big this week. Philip Rivers, Rivers, big. Okay, Troy. All right, I like that. I'm gonna go. I really like Andy Dalton this week against Indianapolis Long. Oh, over 300 yards oh, you per you. game. Oh, you you. He's right like ball. prime for 330 yards, like agree. two touchdowns. Going to have a like, very good, solid week. Good Buy him low in daily fantasy. Good what, are you call. playing him in Definitely. fantasy? Definitely. No, I'm not. He's not starting any of your leagues? DraftKings. You know I'm going with. Right. I'm riding the Wentz wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so riding I'm the Wentz wagon. Going against that piece of shit San Fran defense. Okay? Zach Ertz. My guy. I love Zach Ertz. Carson loves Zach Ertz. America loves he Zach does. Ertz. Carson does love Zach Ertz. Oh, man. I, I, those two, they're best friends. They're, they're best that friends. Carson's elite. Man. He is elite. Right. He is elite. Let's move on to the running back. What do you got, Mark? Obviously, I have McKinnon going against the Browns. No Miles Garrett. Big day. That's your guy. I think Latavius Murray was just fluky last game. I think McKinnon's got the uh, lead role in that backfield. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? <laughs> running back week eight, I'm going to have to go with. I think Le'Veon Bell. I think he's just due for like a like a big big week again, and he's just been solid. And he's gonna. I think he could definitely post over a thirty pointer. How many catches? How many rushing yards? I think he's gonna catch the ball touchdowns? a lot against the Lions. He could probably run all over them. I think he could go for at least a hundred rushing yards, at least five receptions, one hundred twenty-one. I think forty maybe. yards and two touchdowns. Just have a dominant week like yeah, we've seen him do in the past. I got McKinnon uh, touchdown rushing in the first quarter and a touchdown receiving sometime throughout the game. I got him putting up close to 20 points. All right, Marin, what do you got running back? I don't know. Troy, I like yours a lot. I did like that pick well, on you. Well, you should probably pick another one. I'm not you can go guy. with that. No, I'm not, I'm not going to. We should add up our guys. Oh, the fans want to hear more. The fans want to hear more. Team of the week. Get the fans what they want. We're the best team. I like that. 
I could add it up just off All the right, stats. running back. Dude, can you can you really not like, say Zeke? You could say it. Could you like you have to say, say Zeke? Zeke like After to the game he's had last, granted he did play one of the worst fucking defenses in the yeah. league, but dude, I'm telling you, Zeke just all he does is eat. That's all he does. He's good. Okay, he powers through. He makes five yard rushes, nine yard rushes. He's he's a tank. Okay, and I I just I have Zeke. That's it. I don't want to like go into. It. I just all right, I Mark. Two uh, take your right. Any wide right receiver? Wide right receiver. I got Chris Hogan and the Patriots having a big day. I like that. Against the Chargers. I like that game in general. I like that game back and yeah, forth. Points I think a lot of points that game. They're both average defenses. The Patriots defense has been terrible lately, but they played yeah, good. They I'm played gonna, good last game, but like I don't think they're they're dominant yet. I'm gonna agree with you on that. I like that game too. My wide receiver for the week would be Keenan Allen. On the Chargers, I think he's Whoa. gonna have a lot of catches, Keys. a lot of yards on a bad pass defense this season. Keen, yeah, I like him for a good, like a guaranteed good amount of points <laughs> this week, almost safe, safe bet. Moran, what do you got, receiver? And pull your shorts down. Oh my god! Yeah, no one staring at this man's inner die. thighs, <laughs> chicken <laughs> legs. This thing's out of here. Get out of here. God. Let's see, wide receivers. Am I going with this week? Set of moose knuckles staring at me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel bad. I go with like the best. I really do go with the best. AJ Green. He's pick people on your team. He picks the best. He's got Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> yeah, like, AJ Green yeah. and Carson. Yeah, Lentz. good one. <laughs> you, listen, yeah, getting some real good info out of Moran today. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Was it? Pick, sp- were we picking sleepers pick in every some, position, or were we no. picking the best team? I mean, no, just, just picking, either one. Like, who's yeah, gonna have good? At week. least sound a little smart. Yeah, like yeah, have, have some reasoning. Reason. Yeah. Like, like have the some reasoning. You're just picking. AD He's going against the Colts. He's going against the Colts. I don't think he's gonna do that. I got a question. What do you got? What do you got? Tight end. Tight end. I got no, no. Wait, wait. Are we doing tight ends? We doing tight ends? Yeah. All right. Fuck. All Fearing Jenkins. No, I'm not. Not big on him this week. Want me to go first? Not big on him this week. So not me and Troy oh, not the same Howard. guy, so I want to get it off first. Are you okay. Travis Kelsey? Go ahead. I'll do someone else. Cameron Brait. No, I don't have that. Ooh, interesting. The guys. The guys Dang. been on a fucking spree lately. Dang. On an absolute spree. Since week three, in a PR PPR league, he has not had less than twelve points each week. That's pretty crazy. He's a stud. Yeah, man. Consistent. Do they throw a lot on the Bucks? Yeah. Yeah. Do they throw a ton. They throw yeah. a ton. And listen, so it's not like I'm I'm not picking a sleeper, but I'm picking a sleeper name. Do you get what I'm saying? You don't hear too much about Cameron Bray. Yeah, I understand the guy, that. That's the a good pick. Are, yeah. No one's bashing you for that. No, I, you know I'd love to go with Zach Ertz. Like, who wouldn't yeah, want to go with Zach Ertz? If, it's, if one of you Zach don't Ertz. go with Zach Ertz, you're If he's not on cool. your fantasy team or on Philadelphia, you're probably not going to go with him. I got... Uh, 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 so I apologize for that yawn. Uh, I got Jason Witten against the Redskins having a big day. That's great. Having a very big day. The... Uh, That's it. The Redskins are the third worst team against tight ends, opposing tight ends. They'll have the most third most points. And I think the Cowboys offense is on fire. On fire after last week. Tight Deacon end. Dunk. Deacon Dunk. Gotta put it in there. <laughs> Gotta put it. Tony Romo, my man Tony Romo is using dunk, our term Martin. Deacon Dunk during the game. The term is dink and dunk. Dink and dunk? Yeah. <laughs> Deacon Deke and dunk would be more of a hockey term. I know, I think Romo said Deek. No, he says dink. It's a, it's dink and dunk. I think I said it on the screen. Dink. Big letters at one point. Uh, Roma it might, loves it did, the word. It did. It did. Dink it said dunk. dink and dunk. I think. Yeah. Mark kept saying dink and dunk. <laughs> I could have sworn it was that the whole time. All right, I'm gonna go Kyle Rudolph for the tight end. I like I him like against it. Cleveland. I, like I don't love him against Cleveland. Actually, I think he's gonna have a very solid. Talk could be a two touchdown dunk. game. Talk about dink and dunk. Yeah, that game is. Dink and dunk. Well, I'm only week. talking. I'm only talking God. Deacon Dunk over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I can get in that conversation. Paul, Paul Richardson. Richardson. Paul Richardson's your flex. I'm not sure that's my flex. I have him as my flex. I just don't think it's gonna happen every week. Huh? Why is he your flex? I I don't really know because I had to pick a fucking underdog and the guy has three touchdowns. Up wanted. Well, yeah, it's not someone like. Who? great. But I just think he's gonna Who? have a good week. Who? We're going against uh, the Texans. Paul All right, I'm going my flex. Pierre Garcon. <laughs> great fantasy player. Heavy targets against Cowboys pass defense, which is absolutely pitiful. I don't know. I think Pierre Garçon has like a solid ten catch week, even. Listen, at least Pierre Garçon. Oh my God, him and Pierre Garçon again. At the, at the end of the season, yeah, I get year. When I didn't make my when weird. I didn't make my Fanduel known for targets thing. PPR Garçon. Wentz. Uh, who the fuck did I say? El- Zeke. Uh, AJ Green. Actually, I'm on no points after those three. 
Um, fuck, I don't remember. Cameron Brait and Paul Richards. Richardson. Blah, blah. That's that right there. Watch that. Watch that fan duel go off with the Eagles right, defense. Yeah, I don't with, know the if Eagles, with the Eagles defense. That. <laughs> I have I have Andy Dalton, Le'Veon Bell, Keenan Allen, Kyle Rudolph, and then Pierre Garçon at the flex. That sounds like a really good one, actually. That sounds like a good one. Also, probably affordable in your daily fantasy right. leagues this year. This week. Are we recapping the... Yeah, four? yeah your team. Phillip Rivers. Um, McKinnon. McKinnon. Big day out of McKinney's. Mark may have about 2,000 left in fantasy dollars after this year. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> you may have about 2,000 left on daily fantasy after this. <laughs> you didn't take one stud, but I, li- I like where you were going with that. My receiver was... Hogan. Hogan, yeah, big day out yeah. of Hogan. That's a high scoring game. <laughs> <laughs> Very high scoring game out of, out of them. Tight end, I had. <laughs> you a game tight end, who? I was looking up so much shit while we were fucking this doing that. Who's your tight end? I forgot. I don't think you picked the tight end. Or if not, I did. Hurts. No, I picked. No, I, oh my god. Who's that hurts. Who the fuck did I pick? Oh, Witten. Witten. Oh, you oh, did yeah, pick yeah, Witten. Yeah, yeah. None of us remember that. <laughs> Well, when, he was on a, two last week. I'm in a scared, wheelchair. So no one's really listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're listening to the opposite. That's about it. Yeah, well, when Ryan right, goes over What's the flex? What's the flex? Uh, my flex, I am going to go... By the way, my sleeper, Paul Richardson. Cut it. Just remember that. Will Fuller, lock it out. He's not in there. Paul Richardson. Go Paul ahead. Richardson. Let Mark finish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't, you can't just come out of nowhere and make that... Wait, in tight end, who's your flex? He definitely didn't pick a flex. He no. started talking no. about his own team. No, yeah, no, I know. My flex this week is... Go with someone good. Okay. You, have, you have money to spend yeah. in DraftKings. <laughs> I have a lot of money to spend. I'm going to go... I love how he looks at this. Tevin Coleman. Against the, <laughs> against the Jets. That's what you're going to spend? Against the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah back up running. Uh, $3,500. At least. Up on yeah, the he's board. due. He's due. At he's least. Due. He had a bad game last week. He was hurt. Fill his team he was hurt. Not yeah, affordable. So yeah. That's just yeah. fucking Please. We'd have to pick, have to pick Joe, more players. Yeah, I'll do it. I know. But, still. but what he can average per player? Hey, I'll do it. That is pathetic. Hold on. Remember those names. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, we'll remember. Them. We're gonna add up the points for our, the guys we picked at the end of the week. We'll see who had the best team. I like that. I like that. Mark, a lot. I, I can see your team putting up. We like, should almost a put money very on this. We should almost make this like our own it. fantasy thing. But put we should all out. we should also have a certain amount of money. Yeah, it has no to be way. affordable. No way I'm we should make like the amount of money that's spent for no. just our guys. No way I'm putting money. Yeah, not, <laughs> see how much when you put it in. I gotta put I gotta put in Mark's team and see what he's gonna average for a player. My team's good, but like I took some chances. See how much those guys cost, and we'll we'll do something. I know what I'm gonna do here. Oh, we Keep talking. Fight. We got a little scuffle with Wisconsin, Illinois. There. No, I was just fucking shit, man. I almost forget that we're like we're getting recorded this whole time. I, for, I thought we were just all hanging out. <laughs> I really too. thought we were all hanging out for a second. I did. <laughs> My back's killing all right, me. Mark, on this couch. So you had at quarterback. You guys, wait. Do you guys like Juju? Who'd you I have at quarterback? Juju I like Juju. I, I like did Juju. like Juju this week. I definitely. I need to see Martavis get traded to see him do good in fantasy because he's not going to do good in fantasy on the Steelers the rest of the year. They're not going to give him the ball. He's starting too much shit. I love him though. I've, re- I've rode with him since he was in since he was uh, in the yeah, uh, that's fantasy why I don't like him. talk. Oh, I love him. So Mark, who was your flex again? Tevin Coleman. <laughs> oh, good. good Devontae Freeman. I'd pick him at least. Come on. It's not a flex. So if you give Mark, yeah, it's not a flex. I if you give Mark a, like a mediocre defense in his lineup, you know, like you're not so, going to have him on your flex. Like no, a, a mediocre defense, defense this week would be the. Wait, how much did you spend already? Just look how much you oh, spent. Wait, we have to give him a defense because that affects the average. My team might do terrible. All right, we'll give him the Bears week. defense. Wait, like, wait, pick your defense, Mark. Pick just pick a random defense. Pick a defense for the week. My D is gonna be. Oh, I already said. Yo, I. Uh, yeah. No, I got I got Denver over the Chiefs. D. I got the defense for Denver doing very well that game. All right. <laughs> All right. So about, the pick, game's not like, listed on here, so I can't yeah, get. Pick a Sunday game. Pick a Sunday game. Atlanta against the Jets. Are you saying for DraftKings? Yeah, I'm putting in your lineup. Yeah, we're going to give up, what, 24 points or against the Giants? <laughs> and pick them two weeks later. All right, well, let's oh, start. Come on, you got to pick one later. He goes, one on he goes here, two Mark. weeks later. Like, it was like yesterday. Like, pick Mark, pick one on here, please. Like, they didn't talk over some stuff. Yo, this guy's a fucking joke. Oh. Falcons against the Jets? No. Oh, Saints against Chicago. All right. Saints against Chicago on that Monday, on the Sunday early day. Is it the 1 o'clock games? Yeah, Mark would have a lot of money to spend after that lineup. To get two more receivers and running back, he could average six thousand, which is like a pretty uh, like like that's like a <laughs> awesome. wide receiver one. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm saying nothing uh, wrong with that. Nothing wrong. We just wanted to see how cheap your team would be. All right. Thank you once again for listening to episode two of the High and Outside Sports Podcast. And thank you to our sponsor, Apple Sports Picks, the best sports handicapping website in New England. Tune in next week to hear about World Series recap, some predictions recap, and, of course, fantasy football. Stay high, outside. Stay high, outside. Stay high, outside. I'm the guru. I'm the guru. Your feet stink like poo-poo. Mark be making fubu picks, it's a lock of the week. Trot over here picking locks, that boy is on his feet. Just a bit outside. He-